Okay, come on. We're here with Jose Landaverde, um, who is on a hunger strike day... Day 15? Day 15 of a hunger strike. Um, Jose, could you tell us um, what are the demands of the hunger strike? Well, the demands of the hunger strike are very specific. Mm -hmm. One is a moratorium to the deportation to stop the separation of families and stop the rapes. Mm -hmm. And also, of course, we are demanding an immigration reform that will include all the families. Mm -hmm. And those are the, basically the three main demands for the hunger strike. And how has it been going so far? Well, it's been going, uh, being in hunger strike is not easy. Mm -hmm. It's not an easy thing, do you know, you have to go through a lot of uh, process in your body, basically mm -hmm. I am diabetic and that hurts more. For example, yesterday I was feeling not okay, but today uh, it has been a lot of support from many different groups and organizations. And also um, it is a way how we can raise conscience on the people. It, we will not have a response from the president because the response that he gave us today he didn't say nothing, you know, and then um, basically what he said is the things that he said when he was running to be president. Could you speak more about Obama's uh, address on immigration today? What, what were you hoping would be in that speech? And well, what I, I was hoping to be in that speech will be that he will address, really say that, because he talked, he, he, he mentioned three good po three points that he had a good chance to talk about the moratorium there when he said that the families who came to this country and the people who came to this country, uh, 90, 100% are coming to work to seek better life, that we should not be separating the families and everything. At that moment, he could say, well, if you, they are coming to look for jobs to seek better lives, we should not separate the family, we should, I wanna give a moratorium of the deportation, we're, gonna, we're not gonna deport nobody. And then he talks about um, how accountable, uh, how, how important are those families for the economy. He had the chance there to say these immigrant families are important for the economy. We should not be deported. Then we should give a moratorium until we give a, a full legalization. The other point that he mentioned that was very important is that the, he said that uh, there are many families, people who are have a came as an immigrant, broken the law by coming look for jobs. This is how he described it, but they have a children already born in the United States. But uh, they should be have the chance to go to school and have a decent life. And then he had another chance there to mention a moratorium of the deportation. He didn't. And, and then and I, what I was hoping to hear from him was a moratorium of the deportations. And the other side, he mentioned very clearly that he has more militaries in the border than, than anybody, any person in the history, and it is true. Do you know? And then uh, the deportations during Obama administration are higher than the uh, Bush administration. In what, but he has spent a lot of time blaming the Republicans, mm -hmm. do you know? And blaming the Republicans and saying that the Republicans are the problems, I am appealing to the Republicans. And this is not a problem of Republicans and Democrats. Mm -hmm. Most people who are here in document, they are they are not they don't have a political ideology or people or for example uh, this is why the mayor of New York, Bloomberg, has taken the immigration reform in his Republican. And then the president cannot just blame the Republicans, he has to blame the Democrats that are in himself that he has not taken a stand to stop the, the deportations immediately. Could you say a little about the situation in Arizona? Well, the situation in Arizona is very difficult. You know, I was there like a month ago mm -hmm. uh, working for a rally and we saw how the racism, racism is in Arizona. We saw how they are trying to pro profiling uh, immigrants, and not only immigrants, uh, U.S. citizens who looks mm -hmm. like uh, me Latinos or whatever, do you know? Any immigrant, they gonna be persecuted. And the situation in Arizona is very critical now. 
And uh, I think the president addressed very well that issue in that is, is, is his moral. He has to do it because otherwise the country will looks like uh, in the times of, of Hitler, you know, mm -hmm. or even worse. Because now there is a a more uh, technology that, technology that they are not killing everybody physically but emotionally. Mm -hmm. And, and using different technologies to do it. And then um, the president has um, addressed that issue and we hope he's not gonna use that issue for not to give an immigration report. Uh, what can people do to support the hunger strike? Well, the, what the people can do to support the hunger strike is um, uh, being present uh, with us or calling to the legislators and tell them, see those people are in hunger strike, they want a moratorium of the deportation and continue the pressure to the president. Also going to Washington, the 28th, there is a huge march that like 10,000 children are going from different places of the country to seek a meeting with the president and tell mm and tell him that he should not be deporting their dead and man. Mm. And how do you feel today? Well, I am feeling a <laughs> little bit better than yesterday, yeah. but I, as soon as it's getting a little late, I am getting more. Mm -hmm. How much longer do you think? Well, I think I'm going to see if you, I resist like a few more days, or I don't know. I think I'm going to end at the hospital, <laughs> and then that's it. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Joe?